and welcome to your goal market update for the 2nd of May 2022. I hope you had a good weekend. Let's look at what's going across the news today. Of course, on Friday, we had a very weak US session, reversing all of Thursday's gains and retesting support. This is on growth concern as data appears to be weakening across the board. We've got big data out this week with the US jobs data culminating in the non-farm payrolls on Friday. And of course, earnings are likely to play a big role this week in the US. On top of that, we've got, of course, the RBA decision tomorrow locally. US futures are very mildly to the upside in early trading, but Asian markets are mixed with the ASX, the fairly significant underperformer down in excess of 1%. The US dollar index continues to trade around those four year highs it hit last week. The Japanese yen paused, but still looks weak against most currencies and gold is just below that 1900 level. Oil has also paused around 105, but interestingly, the VIX has now spiked over 30 again. Remember, it was around about 28 on Friday morning. In the crypto space, we're not getting very good news either. We've seen Bitcoin drop again on Friday and is now trading towards the lower end of the range. And of course, earnings continue this week, as we've referenced already. It's US Jobs Week. We've got the RBA tomorrow. And today, importantly and interestingly, the global PMI data is out. We're seeing numbers out of Europe and the US later on. Those will be key numbers to see if this story of global slowdown continues. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts which are of interest today. I just want to start with the GB pound yen. Here's the daily chart. You can see the last three sessions we've hit this 164.18 level. That looks quite significant now. And if we bring it into the shorter term chart, you'll see on the hourly chart, we're trading within a range between about 162.50 and this 164.18. So that's quite a significant range. And if we start to push towards this, there's maybe a short term resistance at this level here around about 163.67 where one may pick up 40 pips to take us back up to that 164.18 but there may be a better and more significant move if we get a move over that top line there that we've referenced on the chart. On the ASX outperformer today is the travel sector and flight centre is a great example of that you can see there we have actually moved back up to a key level around about this 23.25 level. If we look on the daily chart, you'll see how we're trading a little under that $23. But this looks very strong. You see the move up there, the retracement. And now we look as though we're in a trend continuation. And this was triggered by some positive news out of Qantas primarily. But this sector's looked strong all month and could well continue into the coming weeks. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.